Welcome to the WebBikeWorld.com quick video tour of the HJC FS10 motorcycle helmet. Visit WebBikeWorld.com for a detailed review of this helmet and many others. The HJC FS10 is a relatively new helmet in the HJC lineup. Slotting in just under the top of the line AC12 and the CLSP, both of which have been reviewed on WebBikeWorld.com. The FS10 is slightly on the expensive side for an HJC helmet, with a list price of about $250 at the date of this video. The shell isn't thermal plastic like some of the less expensive HJC helmets. It's made from a fiberglass composite weave, according to HJC. We found the shell on this size XL to be rather large when compared to some other helmets of the same size, which gives the helmet the sort of fishbowl or space helmet effect of feeling too big on the rider's head. One of the big selling features of the S10 is this rotating internal sunshade, which unfortunately is activated with this large mechanism on top. We're not really big fans of these internal sunshades, mostly because they seem to add a lot of weight, complexity, and they usually interfere with the rider's line of sight, and the tint usually isn't dark enough anyway, probably due to liability issues. On the FS10, there's an additional issue. The sunshade has only two positions, down or up, so it can't be used to just block a little bit of sun from above the rider's eyes. Our feeling is that this kind of limits its usefulness. The FS10 has HJC's quick release, or so-called rapid fire visor removal system, shown here. The removable liner in the FS10 is relatively comfortable, and we think the helmet will probably fit round-shaped heads best. But visit the Helmet FAQ on WebBikeWorld.com for a detailed report on fitting and purchasing motorcycle helmets. The helmet has this chin vent and a top vent that actually only, only opens up a very small amount. We think it flows an average amount of air, but we also think the helmet is slightly on the noisy side with some wind roar around the top vent and the exhaust vents. Also, the large size shell seems to cause some turbulence and turbulence induced noise around the bottom and uh, rear of the helmet, and the buffeting bounces the helmet around on my head, which can get kind of tiring. So, to be honest, we're just not all that impressed with the new HKC FS10. In fact, our opinion is that it doesn't seem to offer the same value that we've come to expect from HKC and their other helmets. For the complete detailed review and more close-up photos of the HJC FS10, please visit WebBikeWorld.com. That's the WebBikeWorld.com quick video tour of the HJC FS10 motorcycle helmet. Thanks for watching.